Up to this point, we've taken a look at pictures of base 10 blocks and decided what number those blocks stand for. In this lesson, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to look at actual numbers, numbers that is, and we're going to turn those numbers back into base 10 blocks. Here's what I mean. Let's read this together. It says, illustrate, which basically means draw, you got to draw, illustrate the number 236 using the least number of base 10 blocks. Oh man, Mr. Mellon, that's hard. I'm going to help you through this. Don't worry about it. Whenever a question says use the least number of blocks, it basically means when you're done drawing it out, everything should be regrouped. Okay, so basically you can't have too many of any of the categories. You can't have too many ones, too many tens, too many hundreds. Oh, Mr. Mom, what's too many? Remember, too many is when you have 10 or more. If you have that, you got to move them over and then that's going to be the least number of blocks when everything's moved over. Here, we'll see an example and we'll check it over the way I just said. So, what you need to do in questions like this, take the number that's in this question and write it out in digits. Because we don't like to look at numbers using words. It's kind of confusing that way. So look, HTO, put that number 236. And now we could see the place values. We need two of the hundreds, and it doesn't matter what side you start on, boys and girls. Six ones, three tens, two hundreds. That's all we need to show in the picture. Two hundreds. Now we go to three tens and six ones. Woo! That is it that easy, Mr. Malum? Is it really that easy? Yeah, it's that easy. That's a piece of cake. Now, look, when you draw this question out on your paper, because you are filling this out as you watch the video, don't sit there when you're making the hundreds and draw every little square that you see inside there. It's not necessary. It's a waste of time. You're going to be doing it for a long time if that's what you're going to do. All you need is a big fat square just like that and then another one below it. Leave the middle empty. And when you're making the rods, just draw lines. Don't bother with all the little cubes inside. Just lines like one, two, three. And these guys, you can either make little circles or what I like to do, I just make like uh, thick dots. Make sure I could see those dots. Okay, boys and girls, this is as hard as it gets. If you get these next two questions, you've got it all. It says, how many unit cubes will you need? Remember what unit cubes are. Unit cubes are those little animals because they're so cute. They're adorable. That's why we call them units. They're cute. So how many of those cute little unit cubes will we need for the number 157 if you have the following base 10 blocks? 100, four tens, blank ones. First thing, remember what you do? HTO. Let's see the number on the HTO thingy. Okay, now we can see the place values. Now I'm sure at this point you're probably, you, you got this here. You're probably saying, oh, Mr. Melm, get out of here. I got this. I'll do it. Okay, let's see. You got 100. Then you're, okay, I'll just put a 100 over here and a four tens. I'll make four tens. And uh, we need seven ones because it's 157. I'll put seven ones. Oh, no, I got it wrong. Yeah, you're going to get it wrong if that's what you do. Well, why, Mr. Melm? Why is that wrong? I did exactly what the question said. Not really, because look, here you have 100, you've got four tens, and four tens are 40, and these guys here are seven, you got 147, right? Look at this, four tens, we need five tens. Okay, Mr. Mel, no problem, I'll just make an extra 10 right there. You can't do that, actually. Why not? Because look, the question specifically says you're allowed four tens, okay? You can't show an extra 10. Oh, man, that's hard then. Yeah, I'm going to show you an easy way of doing this. Well, really the only way of doing it. You can add as many ones as you want, though. Ah, so maybe we can make that extra 10 that we need to sit over here. Maybe we can make it using the ones. Let's see what that looks like. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is going to make our extra 10 we need to be over here so that we get 5 altogether. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. But we can't change it yet. We have to leave it as 1s because remember, you're not allowed to change this recipe. 4 10s is all you're allowed to draw. So the fifth one has to be right here. And now you, can, you need 7 extra ones, right? You need 7 to make that 7 over here. You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many do we have all together? Well, we have 10 plus 7. We got, uh, let's see, 10, 11, 12, we get 17. 
All right, so don't let these questions confuse you. If you need an extra 10, make it using the ones, and then you've got it. And the last question, let's see how this one works. It's similar to the last one. How many rods will you need for the number 317 if you have the following base 10 block? So now we have two flats, blank rods, seven units. First step, HTO, put your 317 on it, and now let's draw it out. So we're gonna put two flats, no problem. We're gonna make our seven units, it says seven units, one, Okay, and now we need to make the rod. So we'll just put like one rod because it says 317. So it says 110, right? We'll just put 110. Oh man, we got it wrong again. Okay, what went wrong here? Well, look, if you look carefully, this answer here, we have two hundreds. Look at the number we need to make. It says we need three hundreds. Oh, okay, Mr. Malm, I got this. We'll just put an extra third hundred over here. Now it's fixed. No, no, you can't do that. Why not, Mr. Mal? It says 300s, so I put 300s. There's only one problem. The question says you're allowed only two of the hundreds, two of the flats. So we can't actually show that other one. Oh, so what do we do then? Okay, look, I'm going to show you. This is what you do. So you need to make an extra hundred, but you can't make it using just doing that. That's not allowed. So what do we do? Make that extra hundred using the tens. You've got your 10 here. You need this one, right? 110. We put the 110 here. Okay, let's leave it alone because we like it there. 110, 110. But now we need to make an extra 100 using the 10s because look, it's a blank here. We can add as many 10s as we want. doesn't tell us we got to stop at any number. So here's what we'll do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Remember what you get when you have 10 tens? These 10 will click together and move over next door. I won't do it yet because the question says I'm only allowed to show two. But I know that that third hundred is going to come from here. And with that extra 10 that I need because of the number here, I've got 11 altogether.